I think it's going. I think we're rolling now. Are we? Yep, we are. Cool. Okay. This one's from Mario Freak 444. It's called Dad and Me. So let's uh see how we get it. Whoa! Bit noisy. Okay. Can I move? Back and forward? Any jumping? No? Okay. Welcome to Almond Hands Park. I'm in the sandpit. Rolling with some sort of degenerate drug addict youth. Oh, I'm picking him up. I'm picking him up by his bootstraps. Okay. We're gonna help you out, son. We're gonna turn your life around. Where the hell do we go? What do I do now? Oh god, it's come to this already. Alright. Oh, we go this way with him. Take him out of the park. No? Oh, you can beat him up. Fantastic. This is the battle practice against an opponent that doesn't want to fight back. What's the name of the fat kid from The Simpsons? The one that everyone beats up on? No, no, not Nelson. Is it Nelson? No, no, it's the weak one I'm talking about. Anyway, here we are. Little astromech droids down here. Whoa! Oh, it's like primary school all over again. It's like I never left. It's like I retained the skills. Even though it's been years since I've been in a proper rustabout. <laughs> Rust. What's the. What's the name for a fight? Roustabout? No, that's not it. You can hide in the play equipment all you like. It won't help you. Oh well. I've got some sort of running damage now. Cool. Oh, I like the fighting in this game. Oh. Still not sure why it's called Dad and Me, though. I think there might have been an open cutscene which might have uh, explained that little mystery. But I don't know really care about these sorts of things. <laughs> Recycling! Keep the world green, my little companion. Where'd he go? Come here. I'm supposed to be the hippie here, what the hell? Can you actually get violent hippies? Like, people who believe in recycling and helping the environment and stuff, but also want to take out the trash. I mean, I, I think I think there's room in the world for your old worked up hippie activist. Ready to spill a little blood. Like I'm always saying, if you want to make an omelet, you got to break some eggs. Yeah. Fuck. This guy's getting away again. I don't think the bin strategy is really... Oh, there we go. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Cunt punch! <laughs> oh, it's still going. Your mum's over telling you to play with swings. Oh, someone's got a hard helmet. This is going to be difficult. Uh, you know, fairly standard stuff. I was actually looking for a game to to a screw tonight, because what I did was I took all the suggestions that I had, and basically wiped off all the ones that looked like I didn't want to play. <laughs> Bit of guesswork involved. Um, but the downside to that is that this is a screw slash long live rating system, whereby if it's something I don't like, I call it screw. And if I do like it, I call it long live, but by knocking off all the stuff that looks like I wouldn't want to play, I'm basically left with a bunch of things I do want to play, so I don't know. Maybe this one will be an early sacrificial lamb. I mean, it's not that bad. I don't think it really deserves a screw. It certainly has a nice soundtrack. Nice and cheerful. Um, but as games go, I mean, give me a Tyrone. He's got a turban like I do. What? Yeah. If you're so good at telling the future, Karnak, how come you didn't see this coming? Oh, his name's Jose. I just killed a cartoon Mexican. My work here is done. So do I ever meet my father again, or what's the... Is he just there for the purposes of the title? <laughs> While I'm beating these guys, I'm just score the odd goal. Yeah. Oh, look at all this! Look at the competition! Whoa! Gotta be careful. Oh, I, oh, I see. Is this what I like? Dynamic environments. This is more dynamic than GTA. Oh, shit! <laughs> I could deliver them into the arms of the waiting traffic. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, yeah. Too easy. Let the, let the traffic do my work. I can save some calories. For all the lovemaking this guy's going to get up to later. And what the hell am I? I'm this purple thing with a mask. Can't say I really know what that's all about. But again, I mean, if I'd paid attention to the cutscenes at the start... Maybe I'd know. Oh. Or not. Oh, now we're. Oh. 
Okay. This is definitely a screw for me because in any game where you're presented with a lawnmower as an interactive object, the interaction shouldn't be pick it up and make it explode on somebody. The interaction should be you get to chop somebody up like in that episode of Mad Men where the lawnmower basically takes that guy's foot off. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'll tap to... <laughs> Shit. Oh, am I dead? There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, there's this game I really want to play called Bugdom. And uh, it, it was on the first the first iMac that I had back in 2000. It was this uh, 3D game where you're like this caterpillar. No, you're not a caterpillar. You're a bug. You're some bouncy bug. And it had the most cheerful soundtrack of any game ever. And I've been dying to make videos of it for years. But I'm going to tell you something. For, for being such a stubborn Mac customer, I will say this. Playing old Mac stuff is virtually impossible. It's like the emulation sucks. Apple ditched support for their old stuff a few years ago. It's it's the worst thing in the world. It's just so shitty. Um, I have yet to try an emulator on this computer that maybe will run better, but um, I'm not optimistic because the stuff just does not run well. As soon as you try anything 3D, even stuff that's not 3D, just old games that should, you know, I mean, I... There's this thing that goes around, if you pay any attention to emulation, it's like, well, it takes a lot of power to completely emulate an older system, believe me. You know, it's like, yeah, come on, come on. You're throwing all these big numbers at me in my, my, my fucking, what is it? I don't even know what processor I've got. <laughs> I have it written down somewhere. But it's like, come on, if that can't pretend to be an old computer like the one sitting behind me over there. Actually, you can't see it now, it's covered in shit. <laughs> the beige one. If you can't do that then all your today's technology is worthless. And the thing is, like, yeah, I'm pretty much done, but... Yeah, I'm not really interested in this game anymore. Is there, like, a narrative? Am I, am I gonna find my dad one day? Okay, I get it. Oh, God. There's this game that I really want to make a walkthrough of that I have to wait for David to come over for, called Moonstone. It's on the Amiga. And, um... That's basically the game that Mountain Blade should be. It's a lot of the same stuff. You know, swords, knights, defeating wild things in the kingdoms, going to cities and stuff. But it's got this whole sort of mystical Stonehenge angle, where you have to collect all these artifacts and then go to Stonehenge and become a whatever. And druids and stuff. And some of the enemies are more interesting too. Like, you're not just fighting people, there's also like rat men and swamp monsters. And if I'm making it sound like shit, trust me, it's just my bad salesmanship. Moonstone is like the best game ever made. <laughs> And I wish I'd made it. Hey, my guy punches faster when he worked up. Okay, but you know, you get the idea. This is not a very interesting game. I mean, I'm gonna have to give this a screw just so I can say that the screw system is back in place because, yeah, I haven't done any suggestions for a very long time. I'm working to rectify that tonight. Uh, I was gonna continue some series I'm uh, making at the moment, but it doesn't seem people are really interested in watching those, so I don't know. I mean, I, what do you guys actually want to watch? And don't tell me every we want to watch everything because. It's that conundrum I'm in again. I can't say to you guys no one's watching anything because the only people that will see me saying that are the ones that are watching. So like, instead of telling me that you're watching, because I know you are because you commented, help me get other people not, that aren't watching. Like, you know, I reckon just, we'll have to start like, not spam, what's the word? Just like, basically what I want to do is rent some bikies and go around to the houses of all of these people that subscribed after Facade and just say, what the fuck's wrong with you? Stop watching Smosh. Come watch my channel. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm actually, like, I was, I was in a bit of a bummer about this a few weeks ago, but I'm kind of comfortable with the fact that we've sort of hit our, what you call it, our wall. We're not going to find any more people watching, uh, unless I pull something out of my hat, which I'm, I haven't got the time to do. You know? There's so many things I have to do, and so many things I want to do, and you know, juggling it all is really impossible. And then, of course, throw into that the idea that I really have to find a job eventually. You know? like, God knows what that will be for me. Mopping up vomit somewhere. Oh, fuck. I'm actually getting my ass kicked, thank god, because I want to lose this game. There, Millhouse! There he is! That's not the guy I was talking about from The Simpsons, but... Now, Nelson's the bully that's kind of fat. I'm thinking about the... The portly chested one who talks a bit like this! Ah, oh, Bart! The one that's always getting beaten up by Nelson. Um... That's... That's want to be taken more seriously on YouTube, that's all. <laughs> 